I've got the old guitar there up on the wall. <clears throat> I need to leave it there so I can figure out how to play it. it might be <laughs> waiting a long time. Look at these kids on the internet wait the way they can play. You know, uh, oh, that, there's that old school hymnal there. Hymnal there. There'll be some things in. I got a lot of old books like I just tried to prop them up on a thing. I never, uh, I was never an old, uh, Presbyterian. But uh, it's got a good copy of the uh, Westminster Confession in it. And it's, it's helpful, and uh, it was helpful to me finding the different verses. But they have a lot of creeds and uh, different confessions. That, you know, <laughs> that was interesting to me. I think they got some of them wrong, but but there are a lot of nice people over there. You know, in in some of these Presbyterian church, although they're a little bit <laughs> uh, middle class or upper middle class people, seem like, but. I wouldn't have fit in too good with that, but also they had the thing about the, the saving faith and stuff like that that I didn't agree with. But those people over there on this side, they go all they carry it <laughs> all the way. It's not just you know, the saving faith there was the faith of Jesus Christ that. Uh, and uh, they don't leave anything on the table. Well, you know, the, the real, the real uh, old school people, they believe in sovereign uh, grace. Anyway, I just prop those up there for a backdrop. And I uh, thought I'd talk with everybody this morning. <coughs> that's, let's say that's my brother over there right, piloting one of my boats. I mean, my boat. Well, it's not my boat. It's my kid's boat. I sold it for, to him for a dollar. <laughs> it's my kid, one of my boys. Well, my, I'm, uh, I'm handing it down. It's aluminum. It's an 18-foot aluminum. Huge boat, as you can see. And you can always get another motor to put on a, a, a boat like that, and it'll last a lifetime. Well, I, I showed it in another video. But anyway, peace and love, Miss Old Boy down here in Alabama. Wouldn't I wouldn't uh that I just used that for one thing and that was for the uh, Westminster Confession that it had inside of it. And in my studies I use it because it it goes on to all kind of different scriptures and lists them for you. Well uh, but according to the doctrine, that's where people ought to look. For the uh, what I believe was the faith once delivered to the saints, not all of them, not all of them. Just uh, uh, anybody that puts their name up on on the door, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean but that the people inside are holding to the faith that was once delivered to the saints. But anyway, just my little uh, start off this morning. Today. Uh, you know, I, I don't know from day to day if I'm going to even, even do one of these little podcasts because, <clears throat> you know, I was thinking about uh, I was thinking about this little scripture here in uh, Philippians 2. Uh, can I read it to you real quick? Philippians 2 and 4. 2 and 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I've sure been guilty of that one. <clears throat> you know, that one alone would disqualify me from uh, 
the glory world. <laughs> but I was thinking on it. Well, I usually try to put up here the first thing that comes on my mind when I wake up in the morning. You know, we live in a world that teaches the opposite of this. <laughs> Let's beat the other guy. <laughs> We're better than him. You're better than that guy. <laughs> and you football coach, that's the first thing they'll give you. We're better than these guys. You know, we live in a society that is like that. Uh, but the kingdom of God says, look on other people. Look at, look at them as uh, esteem them more highly than yourselves, you know. Uh, Well, I want to, you know, I'm going to break this down just a little bit because I noticed a word in here. Uh, uh, but in lowliness of mind, in other words, keep a humble spirit when you know about things, that each esteem others as better than themselves. Well, <laughs> my, that's the way I'm, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm starting to get, especially when I see these uh young guitar players <laughs> and singers on the internet. Certainly there's a lot of people, a lot more, I believe, now that can play and sing on the internet. There was when we were coming along. Anyway, uh, look every man on his, on uh, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. There's a big word there, also. You know, we we take care of our own business, you know. You know God knows that we got to uh, uh, take care of our business, but we should look at look on things of others, you know. I've been so guilty of that every day. And uh, anyway, I don't know why I uh, uh, brought that to you, but I'm going to try to do that today, you know. Quit thinking about myself so much. Start thinking about others. When you do that, I notice that people, uh, that's what they want you to do in the news, you know. Start thinking about yourself. Well, hey, if you got this uh, right here, don't you have this? Uh, can't you feel, you know, you got a headache? You got a uh, stomach ache? I got that. <laughs> when they're putting out all these uh, 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 symptoms <clears throat> of the uh, supposed killer by killer uh, pathogen, Mm. You know, they uh, it seems like every everything that that is known to the human being is uh, in that list, you know, and and they kind of drop those little hints in the news, and and you say, well, yeah, I do have a little, you know, congestion here, you know, I am a little bit short of breath. Yeah, you know, I went up to walk out to the car. I am this, you know, but if we're looking on the things of others, you know. Maybe we'll, just, we'll forget about some of those uh, ourselves so much and be a lot happier during our daily walk. Anyway, look on things of others. Like you say, we live in a society. It's totally opposite from that. I know that. We live in a world that's totally opposite. Beat the other fellow. <laughs> Take care of them. But uh, we're not of this world, brother and sisters. We're just passing through. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ. That's the mind that was in Christ. Wow. Wow. Oh, I put up a little song there. Uh, I left the... Sometime I begin to uh, just leave the uh, phone on when I'm plucking around and oh uh, so I kind of just let the words come to me on that uh, that little uh, carol that I did uh, anybody wants to check into it but anyway uh, I hadn't had any coffee this morning oh 
I'll wind that little thought up, bro, sisters, and I'll be getting out of here. You know, I've tried to embark on one of these things. But I'll put this on the tail end of this little uh, video. About, I'm trying to show people that the coming, and uh, not all comings in the Bible are the, the the resurrection day, the last day coming, the, uh, where he said, uh, of, of that day knoweth no man. That's day. And then, uh, but anyway, I found another scripture this morning. Matthew 10, 23. But when they shall persecute you in, the, in this city, flee ye unto another. For ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Wow. He's talking to his disciples there, brothers and sisters. Not every time you read in the scripture is he talking about. So what does this son of man become? Well, in my view, <laughs> I don't want to mess up this video and get it too complicated, but uh, he's talking to his disciples about something that was going to happen. And uh, I'm, I'm, this, in my view, was the uh, his appearing in heaven. When uh, uh, he had uh, he appeared, that was the sign. You know, there was a sign that would announce his coming into his kingdom. You know, where he, where the temple was torn down, and uh, he was. Uh, uh, they saw him in the heavens, but anyway, don't want to get to it. <laughs> then it says in Matthew sixteen, barely, I say unto you, Matthew sixteen twenty eight, barely, I say unto you, there sh there. Be some standing here which shall not taste death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. That's Matthew 16, 28. So there was a coming there. Everybody thinks that comings are, uh, are the the last event. That means the resurrection of the dead, his coming. Uh, that's when it when everything's wind up. There's no more time, you know. But uh, he's ruling and reigning right now, brothers and sisters, and uh, and uh, he said that these people would still, there would be some standing here that he was addressing that shall not taste death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. See, see, brothers and sisters. They looked up and they saw the Son of Man <laughs> coming in his kingdom. They looked up from earth. These people were standing on the earth, our uh, plane for the most part, flat earth, they looked up and saw in the heavens, then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. But anyway, they looked up, saw the sign of the Son of Man. There's a historical uh, recount of this. Uh, somebody might want to, uh, it's not, uh, not in scripture, but it's uh, this thing, this uh, this was the second question, but if we put it that way, in the, in the, what I like to talk about. Matthew 24, where he says, when shall these things be? I put that on another one, but this should be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? So thy coming there is this is what we're talking about right here. Matthew 8, 23 and Matthew 6, 28. There was a coming, not the end of the world. That was the last question. I'll get to that one maybe on another video. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, talk to everybody this morning. Not to worry, I put that, I, I do this for one reason, because this is one of the scare tactics that they put on you, this great tribulation. It, it, uh, it's coming down the road, and everybody, like I say, they make sale books and uh, make movies, scaring God's people when that event is in our past, in this old center's view down here in Alabama. But anyway, peace and love. I uh, might make it well one day, I don't know. God gives it to me. Uh, put it in the column there if uh, you want to comment and hit the likes if you desire. Face and love from this old boy down in Alabama.